What's going on guys? Gomer's here. Big baseball last night, huh? The Dodgers edged out the Giants. A controversial call, uh, of course, because we can't have a playoff series end with, you know, oh, this didn't count now all of a sudden. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I hate that this is a thing that we have to worry about. Unfortunately, uh, the real MVP uh, wasn't Bellinger last night. It's it's the umps. They're the star at the end of the day. You know, why would you buy player uh, jerseys? Just buy an ump uniform. That's who we care about. That's who we come to see at the end of the day. Uh, I digress. Dodgers, great team. Happy for Trey and Scherzer, if nothing else. Uh, we have content today. What do you know? Back-to-back -back date. Well, no, we had news yesterday. My bad. Back-to-back uh, -back days for Gomer videos. That's rare. Uh, leave a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. Uh, this is going to be one of the last big content drops, it looks like. Uh, assuming that, uh, you know, we'll, we'll talk about that. So, uh, let's go ahead and get into this one, as always. Uh, we're going to have the 8th inning program, as well as the Division Series cards. We've already seen the 8th inning program, so I'm going to start with Division Series. If you don't mind, because I... Not doing it. Not doing it. Again, how is your day? How are we doing? You having a good one? Having a good lunch today? What did we eat? Was school fun? Did work fucking suck? Alright, hopefully the card art is uh, rushed in now. I can't stand looking at plain card art. Uh, just does not... It makes me feel yucky inside. I do not like it. Anyway... Uh, going on to this one, so we have six new cards, I think, it might be eight, I think it's eight. Yeah, there, there would have to be two teams playing each other, two series, so yeah, eight cards. Good lord, Gomer. Anyway, uh, Jose Abreu, 125-115 one uh, contact, uh, power, 92 against righties, you know, uh, 108 against lefties, first baseman, it's a 98 overall card. Um, it is, the, the thing that you can say about for any card it, you'd have to try sts i will give you props if you made one of these cards just be completely terrible uh, you know at this point they're all going to be you know that you could definitely use them uh, i feel like if you use this jose abreu you're not going to be <laughs> some of you guys get that joke uh you know it's not going to be a detriment is there better cards yes but it's not like you're using a 92. It's not like you're using live series Bellinger for Christ's sakes, right? Uh, so Abreu, uh, not a bad card right there. Rowdy Telez, uh, kind of shame. Uh, I was hoping the Brewers. Uh, yes, Wisconsin Knights. I was pulling for you. You couldn't come through. No offense, huh? If only Gomer would have, you know, predicted that. Every time somebody in Twitch chat would say Brewers are going to the World Series, I would point to offense. Where is it? Uh, you know, what happened? 107, 102 contact, respectively. 125, good amount of power against right. Hard to do much better. Uh, 21 speed is uh, top tier. That's near end game, of course. Uh, this 255 pounder can move a little bit. You know, he's going to get from a second to home in about 30 seconds. Blazing fast. 71 fielding, again, bench bat, if nothing else, if you want to use him. Uh, here we go. This is really the only card that matters, unfortunately. Uh, Randy Arozarena. Okay. They made him pretty good. They made him good. 102, 107 contact. 103, 107 power. Vision. L luckily, it doesn't matter too much. Defense, 83, 76 arm. And then 86 speed with 95 stealing. Of course, stole home. Uh, brighter times when that happened. Br brighter times for sure. Game one was uh, pretty fun. Uh, games two, three, and four, uh, a bit less so, un unfortunately, as a Rays fan here. But uh, Rosarena, cool to see a card right there. Uh, we have Jock Peterson, Big Cock Jock, po uh, Jocktober. Uh, okay. All right. Hmm. I expected more. I mean... 100 contact. The power, uh, again, is 125. It's maxed out. Uh, but only 100 contact against righties. He's, he has a great swing. His defense is okay, but he has no speed in the outfield. So it's a bit of a bit of a yikes for me. Uh, I don't know. I think they could have made that card better. So, yeah. 
That is an unusable card. Well, no, it, it could be used. Like, you're not just going to auto default to a loss if you use Jock Peterson. Uh, but there's better bench bats for sure. Uh, Julio Urias right here uh, comes in with four pitches. None of them too great. He's got a scurve ball. He's going to have 108 hit per nine, 87K per nine, 100 BB9, which is cool. Um, doesn't throw too hard. Doesn't throw too soft. 95, somewhere in the middle. Uh, control is good on everything but the slider where it's mid and then break is uh, good you know really good on everything so uh, four pitches still a bit tough to really think about using that card as a top end pitcher but I digress uh, Lance McCullers this card is great 110 hit nine and of course he's got that sinker cutter combo uh, one could presume that he does not have outlier however that would be cool again these cards do have quirks by the way so that's another reason to use them um, otherwise, he has good control. Uh, 70, it's good enough on the cutter. It's not terrible. 74 break, good enough on the cutter. It's not terrible. So, uh, really good card right here. Lefty starting pitcher. Uh, Lance McCullough is probably the best one out of the bunch so far. Uh, then we're going to see Logan Webb. Uh, sinker cutter combo again right here. Right hander this time with 117 hit per nine. Again, doesn't throw too hard, doesn't throw too soft. Somewhere in the middle. Uh, control is mid uh, on the cutter. It's like the same as uh, McCullough's, just a little worse. And uh, then the break is uh, good enough. You know, 75 on the cutter, but hey. Then he also has 114K per nine, which doesn't matter too much, but it matters somewhat. And then uh, just look at his quirks here. Uh, wow, they gave him none, so that, that's good. Good job, SDS, in that one. Uh, and then Kike Hernandez to end things out here. Uh, not a fan of this guy personally, uh, but the card's quite cool. 125, 115 contact, 109 and 106 power, respectively. Diamond defense, uh, he's going to get that at all of the secondaries, which is a lot. The speed in the outfield is a bit of a question. Uh, I would probably play him in the infield. Good card. Uh, solid program. Again, how many true, like, wow, the card is uh, tremendous. Uh, like the two pitchers, uh, Kike is pretty good, Randy is pretty good, um, so solid. You know, they're not end game cards, but it's a cool program. All of them are at least usable at the least. Um, so here we go, the eighth inning program here. Uh, if you guys are on Twitter, which if you guys are on Twitter, you guys should be following Go Mr. Legend on there. That'd be a cool follow. People have been saying, the streets are saying Gomes is a good follow on the Bird app. Uh, but we've already seen these attributes. They give Willie Mays a first base secondary. He's going to have maxed out speed. He comes out of the box with max defense. And he has 117, 118 contact, 113, 123 power. Uh, this card's all right. Not bad. Uh, probably could use him. Uh, maybe you don't see him too. Uh, come on. You know I'm joking. This is uh, probably card number one. This is probably the best card of the game. Right there with uh, Willie Mays in the such. Mickey Mantle, good lord, they look a little different. <laughs> uh, hard to get them confused. Ernie Banks, um, 103, 114 contact, 122, 102 power. Uh, not bad, 92 diamond defense at short. Also going to get it at third at P4. And then 54 speed is, of course, uh, <sighs> hairball, I guess. What the fuck was that? Um, yeah, the speed isn't great, but that's you know what you come to expect with Ernie Banks cards. A lot of people said L. Um, I'm guessing you guys don't use Ernie Banks. He's actually really good. Um, now, is this you know better than Honus? I don't think so. Uh, just because of the speed attribute in particular, more contact as well. Uh, less power, but you know, oh well. Um, yeah, Ernie's a good card, but uh, you know not like shortstop number one or anything. And then Chris Sale, finally, uh, this one, 101 hit per nine. Yeah, that's Chris Sale. So, um, there we go. Those are the bosses for the eighth inning program. Uh, wow, that's a cool, that's a cool uniform right there. Yeah, I'm getting that one for sure. Uh, that is meta. You you should you should have I don't know your power attributes upgraded by five. Them bad boys are intimidating. You see somebody walk up with a white gildan, you're you're not gonna be fearful a little bit. Come on. That, that is scary if I've ever seen something. Of course, the same packs because they aren't releasing any more packs this year, as it seems. Um, and again, yeah, like I was alluding to it, would point that the ninth inning program is probably going to be the last. 
you know, we still have a decent amount of cards, such as Trout, Griffey, Pujols, uh, Babe Ruth to be released. So those cards are coming at some point. Then we're going to have a player program next week. New showdown and postseason events on the 26th, which is uh, two weeks from now, next Tuesday on the 26th so uh, hopefully we'll get some cool cards for your team to win uh, unless your team differentiates from who i want to win because i do have a preference for both series damn sure leave a like if you guys enjoy pretty cool update again you know the willie Mace is great the ernie banks is really good the sales good enough yeah it's not terrible come on go and stop bitching and then postseason is cool you know we got eight new cards hard to complain so thank you for watching hope you guys have a good day Big out. Yeah.